Welcome to our devotions. Today we are in Shorter Catechism number 26. We're continuing thinking of Jesus in these three roles as a Redeemer, as our prophet, as our priest, and today we're focusing on Jesus particularly as our King. And so question 26 asks, how does Christ execute the office of a king? The answer, Christ executeth the office of a king in subduing us to himself, in ruling and defending us, and in restraining and conquering all his and our enemies. So let's break that up a wee bit. First of all, he executed the office of king in subduing us to himself. In winning our hearts. He doesn't do it by force. He does it through his spirit. Through as an old Puritan James Durham said. Sweetly determining our will. Taking away our hearts of stone. And replacing it with a heart that is soft and tender. That will respond to Jesus. And so Jesus acts as king. As he comes and subdues us. As he by his grace enables us. To embrace him as saviour and Lord, Saviour and King. It's so important that we understand we cannot have Jesus as our Saviour if he isn't our King. If Jesus doesn't root over our lives, if we don't bow our knee to Jesus as our King, we don't know his salvation. So it's not just faith trusting in Jesus that's important. It's repentance, turning from our sin and following Jesus as our King. So he executes the office of a king, first of all, in subduing us to himself, and then in ruling and defending us. He continues in our lives day by day. He continues to rule us. He, he rules us through his word. He rules us through the spirit, becoming more and more real in our lives, continuing to change us, making us holy, making us like Jesus, directing us in the way to go. We must be a people who indeed love to be led and directed by Jesus. Realising that the word of God is the very words of Christ. It's a, a personal letter from him that we're to listen to, we're to obey, we're to follow. And as we follow that, well indeed Jesus is exercising his word in our lives and also in the life of our church. It's as his word is taught, as the elders guide the congregation to obey that word. As they control what happens in the church according to the word. It's then that indeed we are a people who indeed are following Jesus as king. So subduing us to himself, ruling and defending us. And then thirdly and in restraining and conquering all his and our enemies. Life is not easy for us as Christians. Life is not easy as general for us as Generally, it's a difficult world at times. And yet it could be so much worse. And the reason why it is not as bad as it could be is Jesus is constantly restraining evil. It's a bit like a, a dog on a lead, a dog on a chain. It can only go as far as the chain allows. And Jesus has a, a lead, a chain on evil, only letting it go so far, which fits in his plans for his people and for this world. And so Jesus is restraining evil, restraining his enemies, and one day he will fully conquer them. When he comes again, all his enemies will be cast into hell. All the demons, the devil that opposes him, all people who oppose him will be cast into hell forever. Cast away all that opposes him. It's then that his kingship will be seen most clearly. But even now Jesus rules. He reigns at the right hand of the Father. Paul says in Ephesians 1, all things have been placed under his feet. He rules her for the sake of his church, for the sake of his people. Oh, what wonderful truth. Jesus as our great king, our prophet, our priest, and our king. Amen.